In this video, I'm going to make a wooden crankbait just like the ones behind me there. Uh, I still have to test these out for the second time and make sure they work really good. They're all sealed and ready to paint. But I'm going to start a completely new one from scratch and make a video of that whole process. But yeah, I got to go make sure these work really good. So that's what I'm going to go do. I've got uh, two different kinds of baits going in this batch. One's a uh, smaller, fatter one. And uh, I got a longer, I think this is a six and a half inch minnow style bait. Have to wait for it to stop raining. You keep watching food? Thank you. It's done raining. Let's go. This works. A lot of thump. It's working good. Feels like it's working good. I can't see it. Oh yeah. You do have to consider that you're gonna have paint and a clear coat and some glass eyes on this too. So the action won't be as fast. That's just gonna slow everything down. But yeah, I know that's gonna work real good. That's exactly what I want. That goes about five feet down. Perfect size bait too. Not too big, not too small. I think I just bumped into something. This bait would catch fish just like that. Doesn't need a paint scheme. I really like that. Let's tie on the other one. This one's got a big lip at a steep angle. That usually makes it have a erratic action. Yeah, that really pulls. Yeah, it doesn't just wobble, it wants to move left to right and that's good I usually end up fishing these kind of baits with just real twitches you use the reel to make it start and stop and it looks looks crazy the action looks crazy I really like that too for a big bait it's gonna move a lot that's good wobbles up to the surface. You can bring it in straight. It just wobbles like that. Lovely. Awesome. They work great. Let's go make some. So yeah, those baits worked perfect. Uh, I'm not gonna make any changes to them at all. Uh, what else did I wanna say? I forgot.
This is a lit material for this crankbait. It's called uh, Lexan polycarbonate, and I'm gonna sand the edges down to uh, like 300 grit. There's no functional reason to make the edges smooth, but uh, it always looks a lot nicer. This is 320. This will be the last uh, pass. So the way that I carve out my baits is pretty specific and I don't really have any good arguments as to why anyone should carve their baits this way, but it's just kind of the way that I adopted and it's how I do it. But I mark out the chamfer and in this case it's going to be a quarter inch and uh, I have stuff marked right here and I just find what a quarter inch is with my finger as a stop and I can do that right on the bait here and that's a quarter inch from the edge. And I just do that on the other side too. And every, um, every chamfer on every edge of this bait is gonna be a quarter inch then. And then I carve that flat with my chisel. And that's a start of what the profile of the bait will be. I just remembered I gotta drill the eye holes before I start carving the chamfers. It's a good thing I remembered that. So now I'm going to sand all those edges smooth. With a, uh, this is a, a strip of sandpaper off of a sanding belt and it's really durable. It's not just paper, it's like fabric and works really good for hand sanding like, like that. Now it's all sanded smooth. I'm just uh, marking the pilot holes where those go. And the pilot holes are for screwing the hardware into. And this is the mark for where the lead hole goes. I'm gonna drill a 3 8 inch hole uh, 0.4 inches deep for the lead hole and fill it all the way. This hole has to be perfectly centered or in the water the bait's gonna kinda tilt a little bit. So I'm gonna let that cool off for a little bit and then I'm gonna cover that hole with a five minute epoxy mixed with some microspheres, which is just like a filler that thickens up solutions or makes them float. It's gonna be at least a half an hour before I can sand that down. It's the next day. This is completely hardened now. Just have to get it smooth.
it's ready for its first coat of wood sealer now. I seal it with this stuff first, and then I use a, a polyurethane after that to get it kind of smooth and ready for painting. Just put a clear coat on the batch I was doing in front of this bait. Looks really good. A bug just got in there. I do a clear coat after I get the base coat on. So it's all the simple paint and like the base paint. And then I do a clear coat and then I do all the details and scales and gills on top of the clear coat. And that makes it look really crisp. So I just uh, finished installing the lip and all the hardware. Uh, I finished sealing this bait overnight last night and uh, this bait's ready to paint now. I want to paint this one something natural. I don't know what yet. I'm gonna paint it a crappie. A bright white crappie. Going for something with stripes. It also needs gold and blue on the top shoulder. The gold and the blue uh, will mix together and it'll give it kind of some hints of green too. Crappies have that sometimes. But when I'm done with that, I'm gonna give this bait its first clear coat. I tend to do the blue a little lower, not all the way up on the shoulder. And then I'll spray the gold over the blue too and all up on the shoulder and they'll blend nicely. And then when you get the uh, pearl white scales on this too, it'll all uh, really blend nicely. So that's after the gold. It probably looks like crap on camera because the gold catches so much light. It doesn't really look like that in person. When you do epoxy clear coats like this, you need a rotisserie to rotate the bait as it's curing. Uh, that way your clear coat's really smooth and even over the whole bait. I use window screen on my baits to make the scales. A lot of the time. This is the stuff that has the plastic flexible coating on it. You can just get it at any hardware store really. Yeah, you just wrap it around the bait, clamp it so it's uh, tight against the bait, and you just spray your scale colors on it and ready to go. I'm going to start the scales with uh, just some white along the bottom flank on the belly. And then I'm going to do pearl white over all of the scales.
I just got distracted and mowed the lawn. But now what I'm going to do on this bait is uh, paint the gill details. For the gills, I start out with black and I do the outlines of them and then I go back in with white and that kind of sets off a line of where the gills are at and some contrast and it gives it some shape. I'll show you. Now I'll go back over that with some white. You want to set the stencil a little bit forward so some black's going to show through when you're done with the white. And that'll make a nice line that makes the gills stand out a little. Now I'm just going to add some pearl white over the white that's already there. You probably can't see that on camera. Makes it shiny. Now I could get really detailed and add a bunch of black details in the, in the gills, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it like that. I think I'm going to add a little bit of black on the tip of the last gill because crappies kind of have that and I'm going to call this bait good. I did that little black gill tip detail and I painted some glass eyes for it. Just got to glue them on and it's ready for clear coat. I put a little bit of super fine black glitter flakes into this clear coat Hoping it will kind of add to the crappie look. There was a little bit of blue glitter in that stuff. Maybe you can see it on the back. Looks good. Going to the river today. It's one of my favorite spots to fish around here. The water's fairly high though. Hopefully that doesn't matter. Oh, the bugs are bad out here. Went to a different river. Hopefully this one's more active.
something. That didn't take too long. A little smallmouth. Hopefully that's not the only fish I get today. Bait looks good. Epoxy clear coats. They last forever. Snagged a baby channel cat. Poor guy. You're not spying me. There's a lot of those in here. Little while longer. Well, it wasn't a complete failure. Caught one small mouth. wanted to tell you guys if you have any suggestions of uh, baits I should make and fish with uh, comment below and I'll probably do it I'm glad I didn't get skunked today I got bit up but caught fish 